we're going to have a look at entering data from a single response question from a questionnaire. So let's have a look at an example. The question is, which of these best describes you? And the participant is instructed to tick one. So that makes it single response. They're either a staff, a student, or a visitor. Now, when you have a single response, it means that each of those questions is a variable by itself. So I would label this question one on my questionnaire if it was the first question, and I would make it a variable in SPSS. I would also need to code my responses because they are words, and SPSS is for quantitative data. So I can number it one, two, three. It doesn't really matter what order because this data isn't ranked in any way. So let's have a look at how we could enter this data. I always have a participant ID column, and this is just an example with, say, five participants. I've named my variable role because it's their role or position at the university, and I've entered the participants' responses. Now I want to code them with one, twos, and threes, so I've got my code, and when I go to enter my data in SPSS, I would only enter my codes. So let's have a look at how we can do this in SPSS. I want to go to my variable view tab first. I need to type in the name of my variable. I'm going to call it role. Remember, you cannot have any spaces, special characters, and it has to start with a letter. I'm going to leave numeric and the width, and I'm going to go straight to decimal places. As you saw from the data, there are no decimal places, so I'm going to change that to zero. I'm going to put participant participant role university. Now this variable is categorical and I have code it, which means I need to put in value labels. My first value I've coded for staff. Two is the code for student. And three is the code for visitor. Then click OK. Make sure to click add after each one. I'm not going to code my missing data. If I have anything missing, I'm just going to leave it blank for now. The column width I'm going to leave and the alignment. Now the measure, is it scale, ordinal, or nominal? Now this is categorical data, so that means it's either ordinal or nominal. And since my categories cannot be ranked in any meaningful way, it should be nominal. I'm also going to leave the role column as it is. It's just there for you, really. I don't think it has much of an effect on your data. Let's go to our data view and enter the data that we had. So our first participant put a 1, 2, 2, 3, 1. Now remember you can use your value labels button here to toggle between seeing your value labels and your actual codes.